folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Well, the baler broke down yesterday, and today we're going to show you how to take a couple links out of a chain. It's going to be a fairly short vlog, but we'll show you working on the baler. We've got to get busy. The sun's about to go down. It's golden hour, as they say. So we're going to go ahead, get busy here, get this thing fixed. We'll show you how we take a couple links out of a chain, and just very simple stuff. Chain repairs, 101. It's gonna be fun. This applies to pretty much any kind of chain, like a bicycle chain, any kind of agricultural chain, pretty much any kind of chain. If you guys have any tips or pointers, be sure you leave them down there in the comments section. Let's get busy. We'll open this baler up here and I'll show you the problem. All right. All right, guys, so we're in a John Deere 385 baler right here. And yesterday, my shear pin broke. I couldn't tell what the heck was wrong with it. Walked all around the machine, really couldn't see anything. Upon closer inspection, I found that this chain right here that's hanging was loose, very, very loose and kind of floppy. So this is a pile of chain that we're gonna be working on. This tensioner, this is a tensioner and it holds tension on this chain. It's still fairly loose, but it doesn't have to be real, real tight. Now this tensioner holds tension on this chain. You can see it's spring loaded right there. With the chain connected the way it was connected, there is no way I could possibly have any tension and it's flopping and riding right on here so consequently the chain broke it got all hung up in the string and all kinds of stuff but this will all work out it'll all be great let's pull our string back we're going to take a couple links out of this one so we can tighten this chain up and put tension back on that spring loaded part right there now this is a chain break tool and the chain break tool is basically a grabber which grabs onto the chain and you twist this right here and it pushes its way and breaks the chain free this right here is a master link and this is a number 60 master link this chain is a number 60. If you read, uh-oh, dropped a piece. <laughs> if you read on your master link, it'll say 60 right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. The sun is kind of glaring on me. We got to get busy. We got to get this done. I'm going to set this uh, link right over here. We're going to break the chain. What we need to think about with the chain is we need to break it on one of these points. In other words, if I'm going to take two links out, I need to take this link and this link so that I'll have that left over okay so i'm gonna go right up here i'm gonna push this guy right through there let's back him off a little bit we'll take our chain tool we'll go right on there get a bite like so yeah not quite i need to back off on our chain tool just a little bit there we go get us a bite on that number 60 there we go hold them in place it'll kind of be floppy for a minute until you get a hold of where you need to be tighten this guy down this is a chain break tool all right so now I'll just keep twisting until it pops through and you'll feel it kind of pop through kind of give a little bit here in a second it's just gonna kind of give out I guess there we go I heard it pop felt it pop in my hand okay we've tightened it all the way down tight as it would go not gorilla tight, but fairly tight. Now we're gonna take our chain brake tool off, just like so, and you can see down in here I've popped the little rivet through there, okay? Now, the next step is getting this off. Best way to get it off I've seen is just take either a pair of pliers if you have it, or if you don't, just bend it and break it off. Just gonna kinda give her a bend, a little more bend. There we go, we're throwing this away anyway. And that's your removed piece of chain and you can see basically just bent that off and removed it all right so now I've got to get my master link up here and you can see that's not quite going to reach so I'm going to get my master link in place on the lower and you want to go in from the back side with this master link so that you know where it is so you can see this little key when you get ready to take it apart again all right so I'm going to go out here with my master link really need a set of extra set of hands right here I need to push that over so I can get some slack or just pull it tight with my arms. Oh, baby. Woo hoo. <laughs> Knew this is going to be awesome. A little bit of slack right here. Oh, right there. Got my master link up here in place. And basically, what I need to do is release tension right here and get my chain back up on my big sprocket. All right. So now we're riding up on the big sprocket. I can just spin the sprocket ever so slightly. Being careful not to pinch the crap out of my hands. <laughs> just spin it, 
it should jump right up on that sprocket there we go now nice and snug good to go let's put our master link together show you how to do that so this is our master link right here we'll just pop our piece of link right on top here hopefully my little buddy there's something i didn't know it's tough to put a master link on with when it's under tension there all right that's it right there popped it on just had to pull a little bit give them a squeeze pop them together we'll take our little key we'll drop him on there just like so and it really helps to have a screwdriver and just push that down let's see what kind of tool we've got in the gator a pair of needle nose pliers works just as well just push it down give it a little pinch and boop right there in place good to go all right we got her snug as a bug she's ready to go we're ready to start bailing again i'm going to get busy out here in this field guys don't forget to pound that like button subscribe to the channel if this is your first time please come on back and see me click the little bell icon down there it'll notify you when i post a new video and we'll have some more fun here on the farm all sorts of stuff all sorts of fun stuff there'll be videos scrolling across the top right here you can check them out we do farm stuff we do truck stuff we do tractor stuff we do dog stuff we do chicken stuff all kinds of fun stuff here on the farm all right, we'll see you next time. We'll come Woo! on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.